All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duel. So today is Thursday, also Thanksgiving, and we are playing Kaiser Utopia. It's too strong. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to summon Kaiser and do something. And we are actually on YGO Pro, and as you can tell, we are joined by Tiago. It's been a while. It has been a while since uh, Tiago has joined me. Uh, you know, we had our little dispute, but we made up, and now Tiago's cool. So he's back, and hopefully he'll be able to join me as a tag partner. And of course, he is invited to season to uh, you go uh, tier draft league. I wonder what he's gonna pick as his tier three deck. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, Tiago is like the master of galaxy photons. Like this man just loves his galaxy photons. He does plays that are just like that actually make the deck look, you know, interesting. There was actually one point where he just stopped playing. Uh, uh, oh my God, what's it on? Galaxy Soldier. Yeah, Galaxy Soldier. Just because it was just so OP that he got bored of it. It was just like, oh, first turn fell grand infinity. First turn fell grand infinity. I could bust that out, you know, with my eyes closed because yeah, Tiago's just that good. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to see some interesting uh, plays here by Tiago and hopefully some fine plays by me. I would like to summon Kaiser Utopia. Definitely make up for last Thursday where, you know, the lagging on Death Pro was so bad. But we're on YGO Pro right now because Tiago prefers YGO Pro and, you know, I got all of them. I got Salvation, I got YGO Pro, I got Death Pro. So, yeah, I, whatever uh, the tag partner prefers to duel on, that's what we'll duel on. It's as simple as that, right? Generally, they prefer Death Pro. Some prefer Salvation. Not, well, used to. I'm not sure as of, as of late. And, you know, some prefer uh, YG Pro, specifically Tiago, so, yeah. Anyway, I hope that you guys are having a great Thanksgiving. Uh, you're probably not even watching this video because you're probably so full and <laughs> lethargic. Why would you set... Why? Why? Why would you ever set Mamelia? Like, wh why? Wh why? <laughs> The card gets this effect when it's normal summon to go ahead and search you for a trap hole card that you could have easily searched for and set. You're gonna set the Mamelio. Who the fuck sets Mamelio? Ugh. Trap tricks and a lot of money, I'm sure. But, you know, trap Mamelio is too much of a generic card to really base the, his deck on that. You know, it could be just an engine. But Dark World? Like, ugh. Uh, seriously, why did you set Mamelio? What, what was that? <laughs> I only got one question for you. <laughs> Wow, he's just gonna set some back row. Yep. So what do you do? You can like, once per turn you discard being, oh, no, you just wanna get all up in Tiago's hand. I hate this card. I hate this card so much. I want this card to be at one at one point. Oh, there goes that Galaxy Soldier. That's gone. That's obviously gone. And all we get is to pick Graph. That's just, just Graph, that's just great. At least he doesn't have any Dark World monsters. Wow, he actually didn't pick out freaking Soldier. Like, are you crazy? Soldier's so good. But yeah, I know you guys are probably fat and lethargic and just... You ate so much that you can't even, uh, watch this. Build the strength to watch the video. It's fine, I know. You guys ate all that dick and penis. I every Thanksgiving, I love making fun of my viewers. Every single Thanksgiving. What? When did he get that card in his hand? Oh, he, he drew it. He drew it. No, wait. Oh yeah, he drew it. He drew it off of the dragon. I'm like, wait, when did he get a brow? Hello? <laughs> like, I got that he didn't have any Dark World cards. It would make this duel much easier if he doesn't have any Dark World cards. Like, incredibly... Wow. Through the Regeki. Wow. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm, mm -mm -mm -mm. sure. He's just like, oh, I tucked at the Regeki! Throw it at him! Like, no, 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 no. You gotta use that much more wisely. That was just kind of, mm. Alright, so, this is my hand. Kind of debating on what I want to do with it. I said I have plays, but they're just not, you know, fantastic. I don't think about maybe just twin twistering some back row. You know, twin twistering some back row, you know, special summoning my, uh, my thousand, my hero challenger, uh, assault halberd. Got to plenty of. Exceed monsters we can go into. We can go into Diamond Crab King. We can go into Infinity, actually. Yeah. A special summon. Normal summon, summon, yeah. I would like to get rid of this, but I'm hoping that Tiago might be able to handle it. I would like to clear up some back row. Now, I don't don't know which ones I want to destroy. Are these the threat or are these the threat? I'm not sure. I'm going to say that the Dark World guy's card's a bigger threat. Because this guy's cards, I don't know, Tiago busted out of Felgram and the opponent didn't have, like, any response, so. No, there weren't anything. Alright, that's fine. Oh, I had to control no monster. I forgot about that. That's fine. So, I guess I'll just take it slow. 
Let me just go ahead and taunt. Okay, it didn't seem like there was any threat when it came to Tiago summoning the Felgrim, so I'm guessing these backgrounds aren't much of a threat. But neither were the Dark World guys' cards either. Let's go get, get him. Now we've got my Thousand Blade on, so that's good. And I guess I'll just take it slow. You. This is number generated hand like crazy. Like I run I think I run one twin twister, one soul charge, one assault power, one of this. So like four of the cards in my hand were all at one. Like pretty it's pretty interesting. I like this these cards. I wanted to get them more often, that's why I number generated them, that's why I'm playing one of each, you know. Uh the monsters there, especially someone like Troll Falcon, that's just like I don't have any sportcasters. I'm playing the trick clown engine. Guys, I'm recording, so if you could be a little bit more quiet, please. Thank you. Uh, living with people. <laughs> so I set a card and pass us. Wow. Yep. Bye. So destroy them. Like I said, I really want to summon Kaiser, if anything. I could probably play more Twin Twisters, just, you know. Twin Twisters, of course, is how much pressure it applies to your deck. I mean, sure, I'll pitch an Instant Fusion and pop. I mean, Instant Fusion is going to be a 1 for 1 anyway. Some of will turn it into a 1 for 1 anyway, right? Alright, so you just card a card, add up to 2 Dragon type monsters with 3,000 attack and 25. What's your defense? I guess, I'm assuming that you're just going to be adding some of the. Uh, oh, it's exactly that. That's the exact stats of Blue Eyes. <laughs> And he was the the Kaibo of that series of Zexel, so alright. I said I think I think all the major boss uh, rival characters have what, three thousand attack, twenty five hundred defense? Whether it be blue eyes or what is this up? I got blue eyes <laughs> uh, blue eyes uh, Galaxy Photon deck. Interesting. Interesting. I said, I would not be surprised if you guys actually want Blue Eyes to be on Daily Duels in the lineup. Like, with all these new cards, I think it's going to be an interesting deck to play, definitely. Why is that card the Japanese version? Did that card, like, never come out in English or something? Hmm. Yeah. Trap Tricks, Trap Hole Nightmare. So, this entire time... This turn activates this effect, which Pelgrim didn't activate the next turn. So maybe it really is a trap tricks deck. Like I said, I still don't know why you said Amelio, but I guess that was that back row was some threat. I was kind of hoping that he'd be able to go ahead and handle the gates of Dark World, but I guess not. I saw his hand. I just kind of forgot what was in his hand. Okay, well we don't have any back row anyway, so his hand ain't doing shit. So is it like hat? Because it feels like hat. We see some trap tricks. We see some hands. Like I haven't seen any artifacts so far, so. It's looking like some version of hat, whether it be hat or fat or mat or grad or blat or whatever. Splat. Now the question is, did he top deck into a dark world? It does look like he top decked into a dark world. <coughs> That's kind of annoying. Uh, that is kind of annoying. Banners, pitch. Is it just a fiend or does it have to be a dark world? Yeah, wow, and, and top deck right into the snow too. Well, if I, were, I mean, I guess. If I were you, I would have summoned return, summon graph, and then do that play. Like, wow. He actually just top that fucking exactly what he needed. And when we guess, he drew into what? Okay, I'm about to say, what he, he drew into, you know, drag down or something stupid like that. Dark World dealings. Wait, so let me get this straight. Instead of, you know, getting back, back Grafa and attacking over the Felgrand, which would be a much more bigger problem to deal with, you're just gonna kill my Assault Halberg because why not? Like, really? Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of that. You gonna return some Grafa or are you just gonna leave it alone? Like, what's the point of playing Dark Worlds if you don't just Grafa spam? I would, I would summon Grafa and, and kill the Felgram. Fuck the thousand way. I mean, I guess it's kind of a threat to you just because, uh, uh it's a threat to you because, uh, I can make a rank 4 with it, but I can make a rank 4 despite that, so. So the question is what I want to do now. Well, I can summon, summon, and make a one. I can insta fusion, summon one, summon one, and I, I can Kaiser. I can totally Kaiser, and I do have some monsters that can go ahead and handle it. Like I can go ahead and you know put the infinity. So it really just comes down to his back row. So fuck it. You know what? Let's just go ahead and overx then. Why the fuck not? Why not? What do I gain from not overextending? I want to summon Kaiser, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna drop the Kaiser. 
You know, we got the Norden plays and they're stupid, so. So the question is, do I want to go ahead and handle this with 101? I guess it doesn't matter. The Eximeter is attached to you. I guess it really doesn't matter. So just go ahead and summon that 101. Then he'll be like bottomless, and I'll be like ha ha ha. No. Yeah. <laughs> guess I'll go ahead and insta fusion. So I think it's gonna be the same result anyway because I'm gonna summon C101 anyway with uh, Kaiser. So it's gonna be the same end result. And I'm actually gonna have, you know, 101. I'm gonna detach the 101 and then summon when I summon on monsters and I go for C101, I'll make sure that 101's in the graveyard so when C101 dies, I have an arc in the graveyard, summon it back. So Looks like he might actually have some plays now. Like you wanna activate something now, or am I plays good? So I guess I'll go ahead and go for Crab. So there's just so many things in my extra deck that it really feels like I can only go for like Kaiser like once per duel. Kaiser! I did not know he was only 2,500. I thought he was more than that. I thought it was like 4,000 or something. <coughs> Suck Monsters to Special Summon from the extra deck. I'll uh, summon you. Oh, I only have one XC material, I guess. Do you want to special summon another? Yeah, sure. I guess I'll go ahead and summon... Not you. No, yeah, summon you. I don't even know how many materials I have. Catch an XC material. Catch an XC material. There we go. Oh, my effects are negated! I did not know my effects were negated. I wasn't paying attention. I should have known that my effects were negated. What's some graveyard ones activate? Oh, you. I should have known. That was, that's, that's fine, though. I was like, I was like, oh yeah, so powerful, and I could summon it back, and then you know, do that play. Like, no, my effects are negated, so even if I activate, it doesn't do anything. But when I die in the graveyard and I come back, then yeah, I'll get my effect on. Should have won a one them. Should have won a one them. That was my bad. I misplayed. I misplayed. Oops. <coughs> Should have totally won a one them. Oh, yeah, at least I summoned Kaiser. I totally forgot. I haven't really read the card. I like read it once and I was like, all right, I know what I'm doing. No, no, no. <laughs> so I took him with 101 and then did all my plays because I literally just crashed my uh, Tachyon Dragon in him for no fucking reason. And I still got to deal with, you know, Graffle later. But that's some ass. You know what? That was a decent big play play. And I got to summon Kaiser. And that in itself is what this deck was supposed to be. 2,500, like, for a rank 12. You really thought he would be, like, at least 4,000 for rank 12. Like, holy crap. No, but they're like, hey, give him Utopia stats because he's a Utopia, right? Like, no. Like, look at this man. He's a monster. Totally forgot that their effects were negated. That was just totally my fault. <laughs> Feel bad. It's just gonna set some back row and assume the position if it's more back row. Like I said, it seems like that man is playing some kind of version of hat. At that, we've seen we see some hands, we see some trap tricks. So, <laughs> just depends on what the other letter is. If it is, which him, hat really doesn't seem like a really good deck to be playing in a tag rule. Like not at all. So, I can't be destroyed by battle or by card effects while I control another number monster, which is fine. So if you mirror force, you're gonna MST what? An artifact. You're gonna MST an artifact. What? Is that hello? Hello? Helicopter? Hello helicopter. I said hello helicopter. Wow, and he, and it was actually fucking moral talk. At one. Moral talk. What the fuck? Wow. Wow. Is that an H? It's a W. Kinda cut off at the top. And wow, hat after all this time. One Worlds in 2014 and got hit and we really haven't seen much of this deck since. So, wow, hat after all this time. <laughs> I've seen, we've seen it all. 
Uh, in fact, we still have Falgrand, killed the Falgrand, I guess. Still gotta deal with the rest of this. So, what is he popping with Maltok? I don't even know what he's popping with Maltok. I didn't even select see his target because I wasn't paying attention. If it's this, then that's, that's bad because I can't be destroyed if I have this on the field. So, and if it's this, then alright. Wow. So, nothing happens to Kaiser. Good job. So that whole little Brickty Skill debate thing right there that just happened, that was all for naught. <laughs> that was all for naught. Yeah, and I thought I didn't read. All the way down here. No, it has a freaking book of effect, but it's all the way down here. Can I be sure a battle by card effects while you control another number monster? So, even if you want to go ahead and summon that Graffa and then attack over me, I'm just going to be like, alright, effect, because I do have one one in the graveyard, come back, eat you, and then wrap the duel up, hopefully. So I fucked up, but I didn't, I didn't, at least I didn't fuck up him. Damn, they barely have, they barely have any life points left. <laughs> if only you were 4,000 like you should be, like, 4,000 just seems like a totally justified attack for a monster of your magnitude, and I don't know why you're just 25. I think it makes it kind of lame. <laughs> yeah. That Instafusion Norden, though. Like I said, I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do that without Instafusion Norden. Just that additional free resource rank monster is just too good. You know, just like Instafusion Summon Norton, let's go. You know. So, the reason why I was running, uh, trying to figure out some good rank monsters to play. Uh, I'm running 2 one one it's just because 101 for my rank up and 101 just because it's good and it's also a number monster. Could run Castell, but I'd rather have two 101 just for this particular deck because I have all number monsters and... Wow, so you're gonna MST your partner's gate. Because you don't have any more targets. Wow. Wow. Alright, well, they quit. That's dumb. That, that was dumb. That was dumb. The dumb, dumb, dumb. Oh, yeah. Tiago can summon his own. I forgot about that. He can summon back his own tach Tachyon. Tachyon. However you say it. Wow. And. So, I mean. Yeah, I mean, they might as well scoop. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get one more duel in, just to make up for last week. Be right back. Alright, let's get another duel. So that was not bad. I actually summoned them. That, that was not bad. Wow. Alright, I've done three, three, one, one, one. So still 60% of my hand is number generated at one. What you gonna do, right? What you gonna do? <laughs> I gotta believe no. <laughs> okay, Parappa. So the interesting thing is, and the thing I was actually debating on is I actually only run one uh, Halberd just because I was like, Halberd just gets me Thousand Blade, and I guess you run two because so when you run the engine of two Halberd and Thousand Blade, you can, if you have Thousand Blade already, you can just go, alright, Halberd, go ahead and search me for uh, uh, another shit. Rota, of course, I have other searches. I have Goblinburg, so Rota can search me Goblinburg. I might be able to pull him off because I can go, what, I can go... I've run... No, I can't. I can't. Don't let it this hand. Oh, speed runs. Alright, so first turn uh, clear wing. Tribute something to... This guy's so good. Like, anybody who doesn't run, like, three of him in speed runs, like, this guy's so good. Like, you don't even have to use him for the tribute. You can special summon him. And then, bam, go for your sync. Like, just so good. And it doesn't even end. You only have to summon only wind if you use the effect. If you don't, then that's just an additional special summon. Like, that's... Wow. Damn, there's there's first turn Goyo. I'm not the first turn Goyo is like, oh my god, yes. Oh, yes, first turn Goyo, but not bad, though. <laughs> not bad, either. I can go first turn Infinity, though. I can go, you know, summon, summon, special summon, you know, Potola minus no Infinity. I mean, why make a Kaiser deck and not have no good Potola minus Infinity stuff like that? Which is just more room in the extra deck for not plays that I can't really do. Like I said, I can, put, I can bust out Kaiser once. And I have a whole bunch of, you know, squad with the Kaiser, it's just, yeah. <laughs> it just, it devotes a lot, a lot of extra Wow, I guess Tiago didn't open up that well, or he just didn't want to feed the Goyo anything. It's, this is, this is pretty bad. No set row tree or anything, like, I gotta deal with that three back row. That's really bad, because this deck hates back row. Hates back row. You freaking flip up that back row on me and I get wrecked. Like, look how, look how long it takes me to devote to all to my plays. It's just really bad. Really bad, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm, I don't know. It needs. I might just go ahead and summon Sir Rota Search for Goblinburg, Goblinburg, summon uh, Thousand Blade, and go and try to go for 101 and try to take his Goyo Guardian. That's, and if I run the back row, hey, at least I got Thousand Blade in the graveyard, right? <laughs> it's 
at least Dr. Dr. Blake can be on black, black, come black, hello, come black, no, come back, and, uh, you know, either block some attacks or, oh, well, I guess I don't even have to rotor search for it. Well, like I said, I could totally go for Kaiser, because I can go rotor search, special, normal, special, special, two, I, mean, I can Kaiser first turn, but I don't, I don't benefit from that at all. Uh, question is, do I want to put, uh, do I want Damage Juggler, or do I want Thousand Blade? I mean, they're both. I mean, give me another Goblin Bark, that, that's a given. But what I want to do, because I, I got the Damage Juggler. I guess the Damage Juggler, I can block the damage, and then, you know, use its effect next turn, I got the Thousand Blade, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and put Thousand Blade in the graveyard with Goblin Bark when I exceed. God, this would be a great time to have Exiton. Like, there's no better time than Exiton right now. Wipe that back row, wipe your set monster, wipe, uh, you know, you have more cards than me in your hand than I do, so, hell yeah. Aside from, go ahead and put cast out, because cast out is cast out. You don't, you don't do rank fours and not put cast out, right? Am I right, people? Am I right? <laughs> I'm right, right? I'm right. Give me that. And then it's not, oh, I actually took it. What, you mean all that back row? I we're wondering what it is. Maybe, like, Chasing Wings or something? Electromagic Turtle? That's fine. Maybe Chasing Wings or something? I have no idea. <laughs> wow, so this man has no cards. Like, his three back row in Goyo Guardian. You had nothing to protect the Goyo Guardian. Like, you overextended and made a Goyo first time Goyo for nothing, and then set three back row, and none of them were to protect the Goyo Guardian. Breakthrough Scale, Fiend Dish Chain, Bottomless, Warning, anything. Anything. Like I said, I'm assuming that there are probably, what, some Chasing Wings down there? Oh, it's chasing Wings, was it? Like, I can't be, you can't be, what, destroy a battle by contract or something like that? So, you know, that wouldn't protect you from being targeted. You know, generally, Clear Wing plus Chasing Wings is really good, because Clear Wing can protect itself from being targeted, and Chasing Wings protect it from being destroyed in battle by card effects, essentially making the, the monster almost invincible, which is just great. You know, I like Chasing Wings, and, uh, and speedroids, because, you know, it's uh, another, uh, Yugo card. And Yugo is probably my favorite character on, uh, R5. Probably my favorite character. Did you just foolish him? Oh. They're just, oh, are they just a whole bunch of Call of the Haunteds and shit? Like, if it's just a whole bunch of Call of the Haunteds and shit, and then, I guess. That'd be interesting. Alright, so you're gonna Call the Haunted to him, and then tribute him so you can only summon one monster for the rest of the turn, which is totally fine. Because I was worried that you might be able to uh, hit me up with that uh, that young Trish, but now say another call the haunted. Wow, no, just call the haunted tribute. Put that because why not? Wow, that's embarrassing. That that that's kind of embarrassing. And didn't you already have one in the graveyard? You already had one in the graveyard. So why are you foolish a second one? Like what is this? What is this? <laughs> you had nothing else to foolish. That's a lie. I know you you have your uh, your level three dice, the triangle one. Triad dice, so, and that could block an attack. You got, you got triad dice. You have, uh, uh, you legend my turtle. All right, it doesn't look like Tiago opened up bad. It just looked like he used his normal summon, uh, for the Galaxy Wizard, so he couldn't take it any farther than that. He needed his normal summon, because uh, obviously right now he just uses normal summon to summon the Galaxy Knight to go ahead and summon back that, uh, that young, uh, Lord Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. I can't want to say Tachyon, but that's that's different. <laughs> like I said, I, did, I didn't watch much of uh, of Zexel. I dropped it real early, like real. I think I stopped watching it right as he finished his like he beat, he won his like first tournament. Like, he he won the, the whole tournament, the first one, and I stopped watching. So that was not that far in. That is that, like not at all. So yeah, don't think of me as like the the Zexel. Arc Five. I mean, I'm totally into it. I, I like Arc Five more than Zexel. Uh, right now, I wouldn't even drop Arc 5 for nothing. I'm, I'm actually really enjoying it. All the way up to like episode 80-something, and it's okay. It's okay. It's a pretty good show. Pretty good show. So you pop a face up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop your dice. And then slap him on there, and then send some dragons. Like, might as well go ahead and take advantage of the fact that you can just send a whole bunch of dragons, whether it be blue eyes or uh, Galaxy Photon, and then just go ahead and banish some shit from his deck. Like, straight up, this card banned the Dragon Rulers. Well, Dragon Rulers banned the Dragon Rulers, but they were okay at one, and then this card came out, and we're like, Konami, why? Why? You need to stop the whole, you know, send dragons, because this is the exact play we would see. We would see, you know, 
Dark Matter sending uh, some Dragon Rulers and Eclipse Lyran. Eclipse Lyran, go ahead and get you that Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Dragon Ruler, banish the, the Eclipse Lyran, get you back that Red Eyes Darkness Metal, then you can go ahead and like banish the Dragon or banish the Dragon Ruler, summon Red Eyes Darkness Metal, Red Eyes Darkness Metal, go ahead and summon you uh, the Galaxy Tachyon Dragon that you just detached, summon that back, slap another Galaxy Eye Dark Matter Dragon on top, send some more Dragon Rulers, Dragon Cards, you know, and just proceed to beat face. Just proceed to beat face. Like, so it looked like Tiago made some kind of dragon deck. Like, it, it's not, it's not Galaxy Photons anymore. It's actually a dragon deck. So, like I said, there's just somebody that blue eyes. Get blue eyes to your hand. Like I said, I, I'm actually interested in actually some uh, playing that deck. So I really would love for you guys to go ahead and build that deck up uh, when the time comes. So he's just gonna go ahead and electromagnetic turtle. Oh no, he's gonna mirror force. So of course we're gonna negate that with infinity. That's a given. Watch him have a second mirror force. So I guess it was just stuff to block it. So call him Mirror Force. Just cards too slow to save his Goyo. I mean, you have a Goyo, you have 20 beat. Who the fuck's attacking over you, right? So the attack went through. Now will the rest of the attacks go through, or you gotta have the second Mirror Force? So what does this card do? Once turn you can target one monster your opponent controls and just destroy it and can't attack the turn. The blue has alternate dragons good and all that new blue eye support. Now you're gonna play Electromagnetic Turtle? Like, nigga, you already got fucked up, and now you're gonna play it, like, whatever. I mean, can this card attack multiple times or something like that? I remember it can. This card can see something you need to send through now, blah, 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 blah. You can charge the tarot from this card. This card can make up stacks on monsters. Alright, on monsters. I had to make sure that it said on monsters, people. Look at that, Tiago's clouding up my field. I could, I could, I could make Kaiser. Well, no, now I can't. Not unless one of the monsters leaves the field, or I eat, you know, with infinity, I eat like his blue eyes or something, and then go with that play. And one for one. Yay, so I guess I won't be wrapping up the duel on my turn. Fuck. It's fine. <laughs> oh, it's a Cyber Dragon deck? Yeah, it's definitely a Cyber Dragon deck. So, I heard you like infinity, so he's gonna infinity, infinity. Infinity, Infinity. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Just gonna go ahead and contact uh, into uh, Fortress. That's that's kind of ironic. Little did we know that he was gonna be playing a Cyber Dragon deck, and we were gonna get our dick swiped. And, yep. So you now he's just gonna bust out the Infinity using uh, Galaxy Soldier, just like what Tiago did. Great. That's great. <laughs> So Galaxy Soldier Pitch, summon Gal search for Galaxy Soldier, Galaxy Soldier Pitch, go ahead and summon Galaxy Soldier, go for Infinity, Nova to Infinity, again, then, I don't know, take one, kill one, I guess, take him, kill him, or take whoever, kill whoever, this would be a great time to go ahead and just, oh, Pleiades, why? I would have made Infinity, I mean, Pleiades is nice and all, but Infinity is like forever, man, like, really? Uh, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but that was an odd play. That was an odd play. Pop that for me. <laughs> Go ahead and kill that Pleiades for me. I can go for Kaiser. Alright, that's fine. Tech store is all and that's all that matters really. Alright. So fuck it, you know what? Let's have some Kaiser fun. So we'll just go ahead and summon Goblinburg. Goblinburg, go ahead and summon Trick Clown. Trick Clown looks kind of faded. Like I don't know what's up with the art or anything, but he looks, he looks faded. Like look at him. He he looks high as hell. Oh. Probably is on Trick Clown. All right. Let's try, let's go ahead and go for Kaiser again. I just rips off all the materials and shit. Sure. Sure, we'll go ahead and summon Clown back. Why not? Wait. Did we not Oh, we don't take any damage this turn! That's right. That's right. That's right. I was like, what the fuck? Like, why didn't I take my thousand damage and then, you know, do all that shit? Because, uh, I'm taking damage. <clears throat> mm. Well, 
I guess I'll go ahead and summon you. Because you can actually pop some back row. Then I guess I'll go ahead and summon you. No, you. Because I have 101 in graveyard. And then I'll go ahead and touch you. And am I running? Please tell me I'm running. I'm not running him. Rank 5 or higher water monster. I can't summon him? You can also consume him what monster or sea monster you control. So I can't just slap him on top of him? I thought I could. I thought that was like one of the reasons. Nah, I, I, I messed up. I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always messing up with this fucking deck, I swear. <laughs> I can't do any damage to him anyway, so fuck it. I forgot. I totally, I totally forgot about the one day. I, I, I even said that I can't do any damage to him, and then I forgot. So I guess I'll just summon Trick Clown. I mean, I got to summon Trick Clown back for free, which is not terrible. It's just, you know, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing, right, people? I messed up. I thought I was running the OCG card that you can slap on top of him. I, I better be running them. I'm not running them? Really? And why can't I summon you on top of it? You can also assume this card using rank 5 water C monster you control as a C material. C101 is definitely water rank 5, so. I don't know. Ooh, that top deck though. 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 I guess I can't slap him on top of C101, so I guess I'll take him out. I thought I was running the rank 4 guy that you put on top of a rank 3 water monster. I thought I was running him, but apparently I'm not, so that's bad for me. You going to Black Rose? You going to Black Rose? Looks like you're going to Black Rose, or you're going to Clear Wing, whichever one. Whichever one. In either or, I'm fine with. If you go for clearing, then this is Jason, definitely chasing me. If you go for black growth, then, then I, I guess I'll find out what this card is when you blow it up. I'm not gonna, Kaiser's not gonna die. This is gonna die, this is gonna die. This will come back, this can come back. Thousand Blade can come back, so. I mean, really, in the end, what are you blowing up? You're more putting yourself in a hole with anything. So, you gonna, you gonna go for it? You see on black growth? Yep, look how you got black growth. That's cool. Alright, that's, that's game. That's game. GG. 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 Hell yeah, I'll use Trick Clown Effect. No. Sure, I'll use Thousand Blade Effect. And C101, do you only come back when you have XC Materials? I think you only come back if you have XC Materials. Like, look what you did. I literally gave Tago a freaking Clown Blade and you're right there. Like, you can rank it up at all you want. When this card is destroyed, it's a good guy. Why is it C materials? Fuck! So I get C101's not good either. Like, what the fuck am I doing with this deck? Ah, that sucks. <laughs> Just wrap this duel up so I can go cry in the corner because I keep fucking up. <laughs> I seriously thought I could just go ahead and just slap him on top. I mean, you can go ahead and activate Kaiser effects on your uh, tachyon slap on whatever right now, so. Look how to you. Looks like I think Tiago might be able to go ahead and just wrap the stool up, but it's just like fuck. What was this, what was the other set? MST. So we haven't played any back row fucking duel. <laughs> Not even Royal Decree. So he literally just started off with Call the Haunted, Mirror Force, and MST, and then seven Royal Guardian, because why the fuck not? I would if I if that was my hand, if that was my hand, the two uh tra uh speed road monsters, Call the Haunted, MST, and Mirror Force, I would have took it slow. I would took it, and I was going first, I would took it slow. There's no reason to make the first turn go out. Why? If anything, you could have made your first turn, uh, Kendama guy, and burn, and then when he's gone, summoned it back and kept summoning back if you have no cards, but, you know, that would have been a safer play than just first turn go out, just to go first turn go out. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so Tiago's gonna go ahead and wrap this duel up. I'm gonna go ahead, sit back, and relax, and, uh, let Tiago handle it. So, anyway. I guess I'll have to do a lot, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys had a great Thanksgiving, you know. Uh, tell me how your Thanksgiving was, and hopefully I will be able to tell you guys my Thanksgiving on Friday. Because, uh, of course, I record a day ahead. 
sucks that he has that block attack thing, otherwise, prime kill. What block attack thing? What block attack thing? He has a block attack thing? I can't even see because Tiago keeps on playing. God damn it, Tiago. Block attack. God damn it, Tiago. Block attack thing. He doesn't have a block attack thing. He has red eye dice, not tri eye dice. If he had tri eye dice, he could block an attack. Red eye dice? No. Like, am I missing something? I can't. Fucking. Yeah. This is so annoying. This is so annoying. Please, just let me look in the graveyard. Wow, I think I broke the graveyard. It's not even pulling up now. Alright. Mm, what block attack thing? Red eye dice, red eye dice. Oh, he does have it. It's at the bottom. It's right there. Try a dice. He missed something at the beginning of the duel. Yep, there's try a dice right there. And this guy is infinity.deck, right? Yeah. Even though he went for Pleiades, I don't know why. I, he could have handled that situation a lot, 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 lot better. Wow, well, almost a monk. <laughs> pitch. Pay cost pitch and then sell Grand Negate. Neg like crazy. Wow. Power bomb though. It's up to you, Tiago. Do you want to stop him or do you want to continue? I don't really care. I just don't think I have any more number monsters. Nope, there's not any more number, mon number monsters on the field, so he can kill the Kaiser. Which could suck! Wow, 101. What the, what the fuck is 101 gonna do? It's 1-101, one, one like really? You don't have birthday skill in the graveyard, so unless this is like Forbidden Chalice, like I don't even know what you're doing. Like, get your fucking filthy hands off me, Overload Fusion. So I guess he was just trying to bait the Cell Grand to use its effect. So that means that he just top decked into perfectness, because he literally used every single one of his cards. Summoner Lung, Power Bond, and Overload Fusion. Like, holy fucking shit. Wow. That's the game. Wow. Wow. The luck, though. The luck, though. That last card would, of course, be Overload Fusion for fucking Chimera Tech. Of course. Of course. That's dirty. That is, that's dirty. Can't be mad at that, but still, that's, that, that's dirty. That's dirty. Wow. Rip. Rip. Rest in pepperonis. Us. Wow. Wow. So he just baited the fucking Felgren, just the fucking terrorist new asshole with Chimera Tech over Dragon. Holy shit. <laughs> wow, even Tiago's laughing. Wow, rip. I was all t I was all confident that we won. We were gonna win. What the fuck? Like, really? That top deck, though. If you didn't t if you didn't top deck into the whole Summoner Monk thing, that play, then Felgren, he, as soon as you would've went to Chimera Tech, we could've just went, alright, Felgren negate, and you would've dropped down to zero attack and been nothing. But no! You fucking had to get everything perfectly, like, oh my god. Like, both of our opponents top decked into some top decky bullshit. It was just, wow. They both top decked into nothing, used all the resources, and in the end, luck prevailed. Because that's what happens sometimes in Yu-Gi-Oh. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, of course, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be using them death bots and powerful death bots. Uh, I'll be telling you guys about my Thanksgiving because, of course, you guys know I didn't cross the day ahead, so it's actually Wednesday, but then I'll experience Thursday. I'll do Thursday's video on Friday, or if need be, Friday's video on Friday, and I will go ahead and tell you guys about my Thanksgiving. So, um, go ahead and tell me how your guys' Thanksgiving is so far. What'd you eat? Lots of dick, I know. And did you get that itis where you guys just knocked out cold? Alright, tell me in the comment section below. So, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, thank you Tiger for joining me, and I will see you guys tomorrow with Deathbox. Alright people, thanks for watching.